Shalom. Go hello, Yahweh Bashem and Washai, Bahashem Rakaha Kodash. Double honors unto the apostles, double honors unto the elder bishops. Salutations to all my fellow laborers doing this work in truth and sincerely risking their lives and their freedom to do so now more so than ever. To the scattered elect that are scattered around the four corners of the earth that be like unto the speckled bird, the Israelite foreigners among the heathens that look like the heathens. And to the Aqua that are listening and learning to you, I say Shalom. This is your brother Malcolm from the branch of the Great Millstone here in Chicago coming into another lesson in truth. And um, yeah, I'm a little under the weather. My surrounding uh, caught a cold. So, uh, you know, normally I'd be with the brothers right now after camp. You know, we're, you know, we usually gather after camp and we watch uh, fights or just do more lessons or whatever. But I don't want to get anyone sick, so I just decided to come on home on the Shabbat and just uh, do another lesson. And here's a book that was gifted to me that I'm completely and totally, totally in love with. The ones that you're looking at on the on the screen seems to be new reprints of it. Um, I think I don't think these are. Yeah, reprinted. I'm looking at the bottom there. Mine is original from the, from the 1850s, so it's the same book. Mine is also leather. Uh, this is literally one of my prized possessions. And you know I'm 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 so in love with this Bible, but. I was reading through it, and what you have to understand is like, let me see if I can just put it in the camera because it's so big, so it's hard to, you know, to hold it and then point things out. But as you can see, in the middle column, it has precepts. All right? Precepts. So I'm going to read that right there at the top that I highlighted. All right, it's mine, so I lightly highlighted it. Okay? And this is in Deuteronomy, just to show you that these Christians, Christianity, has always known that it's all about the Israelites. It's about the bloodline and the house of David. Okay, not just the Israelites, but the house of David. The Lord is coming back to establish the house of David, and that's how the, the kingdom of heaven is going to be ushered in. The house of David is a bloodline of people who are Israelites. Read Romans the ninth chapter. All right. It doesn't consist of other people. You can't be added on to, you know, unless you that's what adopted actually means in the Bible. It means to be brought back. You can't be brought back to something that you are never part of. OK. But um, I'm going to read Deuteronomy, the seventh chapter in the sixth verse. And it reads, for thou art an holy people unto Yahweh thy power. Yahweh thy power have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. That's very, very racist. And as a brother pointed out, um, it's really nothing wrong with being a racist, being, being for your own people. All right. And he used the example of a pianist, you know, a pianist is not jealous of a bassist or a guitarist. Right, they're just different, and so uh, you know, and um, a pianist is going to be, uh, you know, more partial to other pianists. All right, a bassist is going to be more partial to other basses, a guitarist is going to be more partial to a guitarist until they need them to play together. All right, just trying to make a point, you know, so there's nothing wrong with being for your own people. That doesn't make you hate anyone else. That just makes you be for your own first. <clears throat> I actually don't have a problem with that. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, um, the West loves to take words and sensationalize them, you know, specific words and catchphrases, buzzwords to appeal to the uh, to the to the ignorance of the masses instead of educating on the truth. So. There's a couple precepts that brothers often use that are written in here. So this was from 1850. So the so clearly the people who put this book together, well, they were teaching the same doctrine that we were teaching or saying it. 
so much. At least they were saying it um, in their precepts. Though the seminary schools taught universalism, which is the Bible's not universal. But the first precept that it has um, written, because if you look at the, if you're looking at it, it, it says, uh, for thou art holy people, and there's a small I next to holy. And then as you keep reading, when it says a special people, unto himself, there's a small K. And in the middle column, you go and you find the I of a K, and that's the precept, that middle column that I showed you in the beginning. So in that middle middle column, for that scripture, it has the I and the K, and the one under the I is, is Deuteronomy 26 and 19. So let's go to it, all right? And it reads, 26, 19, and it reads, and to make thee high above all nations where he have made, that he have made. So he's, once again, there's no equality, all right? The levels to this, just like he said, the Esau is the basis of man. He's the lowest, but yet he's also the ruler of the earth <laughs> right now, which was punishment to the people, who, uh, to the highest people to be ruled over by the lowest, the, by the basis of man. That's really a, a horrible punishment. But it says, um, and to make thee high above all nations, which he hath made in praise and in name and in honor, and thou mayest be a holy people unto Yahweh thy power, as he hath spoken. All right. So the Lord is clearly a racism for his people. All right. So now let's go back to uh, because people will say, well, the Lord made all people. Yeah, he did, but he also chose a certain people. That's what it tells you in do in uh Second Ezra the, the sixth chapter. It said it said of of Adam come we all, but also them who he have chosen. So there's a chosen line among all people. All right. And it ain't, it ain't the people over in the land of Israel, the, the, the posers. Okay. So the next scripture was, uh, Exodus 19 and five. Okay. So let's go to Exodus 19 and five. And it reads now, therefore, if ye will obey my voice indeed, and keep my covenant. Uh, there was only one people that a covenant was made, a partnership, a contract was made with. That would be the Israelites. All right. And it says. Actually, I'm going to start at verse verse five. OK, but the point is in verse six. And it says, now, therefore, if you will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant, then ye shall be a peculiar treasure, which you looked that word up peculiar. I forget what it means off the top of my head, but it meant something like special, you know, unto the Lord. All right. But it says uh, unto me or personal. All right. Unto me above all people for all the earth is mine. All right. So all the earth is the Lord and the Lord give give it over into the hands of his chosen people. When they went off, he gave them into the hands of the basis people. The Lord said he would have war with Amalek from generation to generation. The Amalekites, the Amalekites are in rulership of the world and in, in possession of the land of Israel. All right. Verse six, and it says, and ye shall be to me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. So it's not, so it's not going to just be the Levites anymore, the whole Nation, the men are going to be priests and kings on top of that. It tells you that too. All right. So, um, just want to get my page back. So, you know, the point was made. This wasn't meant to be a long lesson, but as you can see, there want $60 for this. All right. And it's $15 for shipping. And, um, and that's just for a new one, for a used one that's asking for 25 you know. So I would highly suggest that anyone, you know, if you really want to study and learn, you know, uh, you know, and, and, you know, if you, you, you know, if you're of the Lord's people, you're a Hebrew Israelite and you're really trying to learn, this would be a good, you know, you want to become a teacher. You want to teach, you know, because that's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to wake up and then, you know, and teach and show our people. This is an excellent, you know. And, the, you know, and all the numbers in the Roman numerals, you know, just like the King James, even though this isn't a King James, it reads the same. All right. 
Um, it says the Holy Bible containing the Old Testament, New Testaments together with Apocrypha, as it's supposed to be. All right. Uh, with the Cain's marginal notes and references to which are added an index, an alphabetical table of names in the Old and New Testaments with their significant tables of scripture, weights, measures, and coins. There's so much in this book and it's bound in 11, in 11 and the new ones are too. All right. So with that, you know, I'm going to give all praises, all honor and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakwadash, Wa, Ababa, Ababa, Kwam, Yasharala, Shalom.